Hello, 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 and welcome to Unusual Radio with Tanya and Ed. Um, as you can see, he's here on time today. I haven't here a while. And <laughs> they the know video, by the video <laughs> she put on attested that fact. Hello, Diane. <laughs> bullshit right there. Let me tell you something. No, actually, I find it quite amusing. I, I... Yeah, except you didn't take the video all the way until the end. Yeah, when you hit the tree. No, I had just stopped. No, when a dog's released. <laughs> Wednesday night, I only let go of one of them because my Hello, head smashed into the tree. Ridiculous-like. <clears throat> yes, yes, it was. Um, Let me just start out by saying I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Yeah, it's been uh, quite the start to uh, the evening. Hello, Joe. Uh, <coughs> hey, Joe. Yeah, it's been uh, Hi, an Where's interesting the, uh... day, shall we say. What? What? Um, what? I don't even know what I said. Oh, just that I'm bringing up the video, but it's gonna... creeping and crawling. Oh, you're, turn that off. You're having issues. I put the volume up so I could hear what was going on with me crashing into a tree. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> so anyway, yeah. So he hit the tree. He lost his shoe. Uh, the dogs went wandering around. Oh, they like the neighbor's yard. They're tearing around. Yeah, I know. Chasing each I other. I heard somebody search. yelling something. Uh, at one point, Zoe started to come. I had them both. Mm -hmm. And then she got she took off again the two of them different directions so she ended up at the next door neighbor's house which one sort of like where there? they're doing the work okay uh -huh. so from the other neighbor in the back uh -huh. she kind of ran over that direction but never really went in the yard okay and then took off ran around the neighbor's house the first one all the way around i got her back like i was holding some food like here look look her leash was just soaked in mud it's like uh -huh. I was not going to hit that tree again because I already got a concussion. <laughs> if you get two concussions within three days, you die. I read that online. Did you? Yes. That means it's true, right? Uh, of course it is. Of course. It's online. So, um, <clears throat> yes, we need to Lord. really, really address what not to wear. See what you did there? We need to address... What? <laughs> oh, wait. I have a concussion. I got to do this. Um, yes, Diane. That was the Ed Beater. So, uh, yeah, there's been quite a few pictures that I've gotten, um, one of which I sent to Ed, and it was a very oh, robust okay. woman wearing nothing mm. under a clear raincoat except for white boots. Anyone? It was ugly. <laughs> it was, actually, it was mind-blowing. She was singing in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> now... Tanya said she's going to be on the uh, dating game show. Yes. Because everyone needs loving, and exactly. look at those cute white boots. Uh, exactly. And I actually did say I kind of like the boots. Yeah. Hopefully that's all they, she they wears were, when she they, shows up. <laughs> but why would you go naked underneath a clear raincoat when you are <clears throat> extremely robust? Robust? Yeah. Like she was robust and mobust. Yes. And that mobust was hanging down. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> hanging down, gonna be the bear down, hanging down. <clears throat> so, I was afraid those boots were gonna trip over that bust. Yeah. Uh so anyway, and Diane, you sent the picture, which I had posted a while ago, about the girl in like a teenager, a skinny little teenager's shorts with that was like this big, and she was like that big, and everything's hanging out. We don't want to see that, people. Okay, 
you, I mean, you don't want to dress like a hoe when you have a body, but you certainly don't want to dress like that when you got all that hanging out. <clears throat> that it's just like there are small children. Okay, they don't need to see that. That's like a nightmare. Yes, and there's also I'm traumatized. Full grown adults who don't need to see that. <laughs> I'm traumatized. They too are traumatized. <laughs> yeah, Diane uh, said you're right, Diane. It wasn't. Hey, Jay. Part. Yes, I am. I'm traumatized. I'm sorry. Uh, you you, the, you just shouldn't do that. So, anyway, <clears throat> we'll come back to that. But I did. Truly want to bring up now you know how they have juvederm for the lips and it's a filler well if you would like a fuller penis hey now you, who wouldn't like a fuller penis i have the solutions call seven three two five seven <laughs> eight nine that, four one seven now how is that going to help your penis hey andy Where's Andy? What? Where's Andy? Oh, I'm like behind. Here. Well, that's all right because Jay never came up on my screen for some reason. Oh no, no, it says Diane Terry and three Hi, others. Andy. I bet you Jay's in there. Um, so <clears throat> okay, so now <sighs> I thought seven I was small. I don't know. No, I want to know. Okay, now of Juvederm, they're saying that it's made out of hyaluronic, some kind of acid. Okay instead of collagen now um you got shit on your face human bite yes that was very good but you got shit on your face anyway so it's white oh my god must you anyway no i don't think it was mustard i think it was mayo so okay um okay so if you're gonna put this juvederm into your penis to make it fuller Okay, now we saw the pictures, and I'm sure if you do um, a little search, you'll, you know, penis enlargements or whatever, you'll see it too. There are, uh, the, the last picture that's on the site that we were looking at for this place that actually does this, it looked a little deformed. So I, I'm kind of wondering about that. But anyway, so basically, all they're show, they're not showing a man with wood. They're showing like floppies that are bigger. Yes. Okay. So now, from if like you, the '90s, you know, when we used to use floppies. But I want to know when you get wood, like, is it going to make a difference? All right, sure, like it might make a difference when you're all floppy, but and how long does it last? Because I know if you get fillers as a woman, you have to go back and you have to get it done again. So really, yes. Fillers for what? Lips. The lips and lines, which I think I need a little Botox. But uh, anyway, um, don't worry, I'm not getting Botox. I'm just saying I could use it, but <laughs> I could use some plumper lips. <clears throat> Should we suck something out of? Don't. Don't. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to make a concerted effort to survive this show because I'm still suffering from a suffering, suffering from a concussion. Oh my God. Please. That uh, is, I keep telling you how to control them. You don't want to listen to me. Therefore you end up with a face plant or a tree plant or a car plant or everything that you happen to hit along the way when they're dragging you out. All of which I have done. Yes. Exactly. I don't know. It was what? So seven's probably the right size, Lisa, because seven what? The woman. I deleted her from my phone because I didn't want my phone to get infected. What are you talking about? The woman in the raincoat. Oh. She was asking what size shoe, like thirteen. I'm like, I don't know, more like seven. She goes, That's huge. No, 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 no. Did you see the size of them? She had like okay. The calves alone were like yeah, but that doesn't that say anything about her. It was bigger than this pad here. That doesn't say anything about her foot size. 
Um, and women's you, sizes are different than men. No, I'm sorry. If you are going to be a big woman, you have to have something to support that shit. You're not going to walk around on little fucking stilts. No. Need not to. No, but the, the, that doesn't mean the feet are huge. Well, I'm just saying. Okay, it's just like saying the man has big schwants because he has floppy feet. No. Exactly. She just want to know what size boot. I don't know what size boot. Send her the picture later. She will send you the picture later. It's oh, and by the way, congratulations on your new grandbaby. Oh, yes. Congratulations. So, um, oh, and then today when I was getting my wax on. Um, and hair off. Really? Anyway, my waxer, she was telling me about something I was not aware of. Apparently, in New Jersey, I think it was Newark or Edison or something like that, this couple was buying golden doodles, okay, hmm. buying them, and they would buy them for the sole purpose of torturing them. Two of the puppies died. One... Of torturing them? Yes. And one was, uh, you know, it's being cared for. Now... This wow. totally blew my mind is the fact that they're told if this puppy makes it and depending on how court goes with them, they may get that damn puppy back. Are you out of your fucking mind? Where do they live? I don't know, but I said I would gladly go there. Oh, yeah. Well, road trip. Anybody want to join? Let us know. Thank you, people. Yeah, it's fucking bullshit <clears throat> is what it is. That pisses me off. I'm sorry. I love animals. When I heard that today, I was like, yeah, no. Okay. They bought them to torture them. They bought them to torture them. And to die. Now, golden, and they might get the other one back. Yeah. And now golden doodles are known for their loving, sweet personalities. So what are they? Uh, golden retrievers and a... And a poodle. Poodle? But they're, they're like... I want to see how they mate. Because the, the poodle's no, like no. this big. Unless it's a standard. Okay. Oh, I guess. But I'm just saying, they are the sweetest dogs. And it really pisses me off. I'm sorry. I will go to prison because I'm sorry. I will beat your ass. I will take any knife, any hammer, any torturing device I could possibly find, and I will torture the motherfucking shit out of your asses. That's right. And that's where shit comes from, too, out of your asses. That's right. Okay. That was my rant for tonight. Just saying. She's going to take a big four-inch auger. And just oh no 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 right no no it's not going to be four inches because guess what not long no Why? no 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 it's I want to be poking them under their nails shit's going up their nose it's going in their eyes it's going to go in their throat it's going to go through the belly button the anus the vagina under your toenails through your kneecaps and if it's a guy involved we're going to get a Toothpick fish and shove it up his penis. No, please. That's where a razor blade comes in handy, and you just shred the motherfucker. Anyway, well, that's what the fish does. No, it done on Wednesday night. No, 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 no. I it want goes to do up it myself. In spines. No, I want to do it myself. Well, you could do it after. And I want him with his eyes wide open, so he has to watch everything that mm -hmm. I do. Anyway. Yep. No, I'm not mean. Really. <laughs> Just don't abuse animals and you won't see that side of me. So, um. No, she's not mean. <laughs> that's different. You deserve it. Okay. Oh, you deserve it. Okay. Now, um. There was something else I was going to say after that. Oh, tomorrow. Yes. The, uh. Diana. Para Unity. Uh, Diane and I will be attending VIP party tomorrow night. The what unity? Hera unity has to do with ghost hunting. And I, I knew it. I'm really looking forward to it because as you all know, I do like my ghosts. So anyway, mm -hmm. now with that said, why don't you pull up your, whatever the hell you were reading? Oh, wait, before you do that. Yes. Real quick. Don't forget, May 29th, Martinsville Tavern. <laughs> uh, six to eight, you're going to have live music. 
and from eight ish on uh ed and i will be there to entertain you and we're going to be doing a lot of interacting with everybody there and it's going to be a lot of fun so i hope to see you out there from what i understand it is going to be a full house so uh i would recommend uh getting a reservation or you may be in the standing room only section <laughs> if the tables are not already taken. So, uh, that's just a little ditty for you after uh, speaking to them today. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a great time. Mm -hmm. out. So going to be a great time for all except Ed. I really think we need to get My Name is Ed t-shirts. Dude, that was like... I think... Semi stupid. I think. No, I think it was just like corn. no, no. I think that would be fucking hysterical. How many people think I should get the my name is Ed shirts? I think they're going to be huge. Just saying, just my personal opinion. They're going to be huge. Yes. Only if you order Same. triple extra large for me, it's going to be huge. Yeah. Well, whatever. Anyway, okay. Pull up your shit, will you? Okay, I'm missing out on shit. All right, if you okay. want. I need to do uh, my shit. Oh, my God, get your hands out of your ass. I do not want to see that I shit. have swamp ass. Lisa says that, uh, <laughs> that our viewers need to pick the contestants. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I get abused enough. Uh, I don't think so. I'm going to call all the former bachelorettes. Or... Yes, I will be taking picks. Uh... Oh, yes, and that night uh, when we are at Martinsville airing live, I will be taking plenty of pics, and I will be posting a lot of pics. So, uh, live as it happens. Exactly, and you're going to see it live here as it happens. So you'll be able to see it, and you will see the pictures of things that you may not see going on. So it's going to be a great time. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of things in store. And uh, I can't wait. <clears throat> so, okay. Ed. Tony, what up? Pull it up. Pull it up. Eight things up. a person, a person, a person should never wear. I'm, it's my concussion, I'm telling you. Oh my God, you I hit the tree doing concussion. 20 miles an hour. Bang, bounced off. It's, it's amazing, I survived. What are you doing? What? Things you shouldn't wear. The first one says capes. Okay, skip that. We I'm know you don't that. wear capes. Diaper, drop crotch, or hammer pants. I'm not sure what the hell that is. What the hell is, <clears throat> what is does anybody know what a diaper pant is? I, I guess it's uh well it's diaper, deep crotch, or hammer. I guess it's oh so like it the MC Hammer down. pants. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the yeah, that's what I figured. I used to love that song. I used to always be out there dancing to it. <clears throat> Even if you can't pull off this low crotch diaper looking pants, you just shouldn't wear it. You just don't do it, please. Crocs. Crocs. Yes. Hold it before you even get to it. Let me just say something here. Men, okay, I have seen way the hell too damn much of this. Do not, and I repeat, do not wear socks with sandals and oh, do yeah. not pull your damn socks up to your knees especially with shorts on no uh-huh no that's bad no it was never okay even when it first came out it was not okay Wait. women if you're doing it okay there's no words women if you're doing it please call no. 732-560 no don't because if you show up here with your damn socks and your sandals, okay, you're going to be eating them. Oh, is that what you're talking about when you said doing it? Yeah. Oh, it wasn't what I was talking about. Do not wear socks and sandals. So if you do, by the way, worthy 98, make an appointment if you're Obviously, doing it. Obviously, he really doesn't care if you wear socks and sandals. Um, have you really looked at, like, people wearing that shit? Okay? It's not okay. Now, you can continue. Uh, Lisa says, diaper thing, check Ed. <laughs> yes. Come on. 
<laughs> I'm still waiting to show my. Uh, oh, don't dip that. What was it? What was it? The moose knuckles. Uh, Post Malone we don't wear want to see Crocs. Any knuckle that you have. I'm not, I don't get that, Lisa. Post Malone wear Crocs. I think there's a typo in there. Hey, Bruce. Hello, Bruce. Bruce has joined. Hello, Bruce. All good in the hood. It's okay. the, it's so, the rich section of Bridgewater. It's now the hood. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> you should never, ever wear Crocs unless you're gardening or working in the kitchen. That's what it says. No, you shouldn't wear them at all. The going out dress shirt. It's a silk paisley type shirt with a defined no. collar. No. Maybe it's one where you think the color is no. awesome. It might even be black. Men, Whatever it is, do don't not wear, wear it anymore. Do not wear silk. No. I don't care if it. you paid $1,000 for the damn thing. You're going to look like an ass. Don't wear silk. Just saying. Motivational shirts. <laughs> Hi, my name's Ed. Is that my motivation? <laughs> All right, you, you get you, try to hold your phone up and show them what you're talking about. It's like the I name. I put tag. it up there. Oh, you did. Yes. Oh, never mind. Go look at the page. <laughs> yes. Hello, my name's Ed. Hmm. <clears throat> Sketchers or shape ups? What the hell is shape ups? I'm sorry. Okay, shape ups. Really? Never even heard of them. Look like loaf like in shape. Shut, shut. Okay, now I don't know what they are. No, hold on. Okay, shape ups. I get what they're doing. Okay, with that. Um, I don't even know how to express words for this one. Try. It's kind of rounded on the bottom. You know, you have to like balance yourself and shit and. Um, Meant to tone your legs as you walk is what it says. Yeah, and I've, your butt I've probably and stuff like that. I've probably seen them, but I didn't know. But what people don't understand, okay, when I used to teach classes, some women used to wear them. No. Um, when you're out in public and you're wearing them, before you leave the house, if you have a full-length mirror, do yourself a favor and look at what you look like when you walk in them, let me just say that. That'll give you your answer. Don't wear them. It's not flattering. Okay? Don't do it. If you're in your own house and you're going to wear them, fine. I can see it. Or if you're just going to, if you're exercising, you know, doing your walk, going down, fine. Okay? But to go out shopping, you know, like a girl's day or, you know, whatever it is, don't do it. Just don't. Please don't. Don't. <clears throat> no. I don't want to see you in the mall with them. Tanya will come to your house after she finds those people that kill the dogs and then visit you. <laughs> and you know she's still going to have some shit in that she wants to get out. <laughs> hey, JD. You're one of the guys we can't see for some reason when you come in. Hello, Where's Thomas? JD. Yes. So, uh, yeah. So just do yourself a favor. Do not wear that to the mall. Don't wear it for a girl's night out. Whatever the case may be. I mean, if you want to just dress down, don't wear the shape ups. There are other shoes that you can dress down in. That's right. I'm the queen of it. Plus, I also, well, I do love my heels too, but whatever. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah. Sweater vests. Yeah, I'm I'm on that one. Oh yeah, no. And I'm somebody who has no fashion sense. No sweater vest, no. Yeah. No. 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 Nick say. That's kind of like you know what. That would be like a glitter condom on a geek. <sighs> wow. <laughs> That's real. <laughs> When you have two geeks and they're wearing sweater vests, it's kind of like a glitter cotton. I'm like, ooh, you look good. <laughs> Raphael, you look so good. Yes, I know. They don't have to be gay. I'm just saying. I'm not they, saying they are. They could be bi, bi, you know, but they could also just be geeks. But to them, it's like golden. You're a golden pony boy. <laughs> 
There goes a outsider's <laughs> reference. <laughs> Pretty much. And okay. in that one and a half seconds it took me to make that comment, I actually had to think of what that <laughs> book was. So I'm proud of myself. Uh -huh. All right, cargo shorts. I love cargo shorts on guys. Cargo shorts are I'm considered sorry. just as bad as dad jeans, the high-waisted, lighter wash, no. unfitted jeans. I don't know. I, I, I like cargo shorts. I disagree with that because, I do too. you know, guys can't just walk around in, <clears throat> like, the typical, you know, preppy, stuffy shorts. Or they can't walk around in board shorts all the time. Board? The, board shorts. Oh, my I God. I told you I got no fashion sense. Anyway. I don't know uh, what the hell they are. After the show, no, Connor's going to learn No, cargo shorts. Me. I don't look want, good on guys. I think they do. They do. And if you have like... I think I look like, awesome in them. If you see construction workers, okay, and they're wearing them, don't wear the cutoff jeans, dudes. Just don't. Um, but if they're wearing the cargo shorts with, you know, their work boots and everything, it's kind of hot. I'm just saying. As you walk by and some, not of, your, some of your favorite shorts. heels. I'm all about the cargo pants, the cargo shorts. Hey. Just I saying. think you're all about the cargo inside the shorts. Well, the cargo shorts make it look really good too. So, and if they fit properly, they have a really nice cargo butt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just a second. I can't wear cargo shorts that often because you know my <laughs> private show underneath the leg. Um, Ed. <clears throat> yeah, seven three two five six zero four three nine eight. Uh, Ed, we are not in your uh, fantasy right now. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Wait let's... a minute. Oh, pop I'm awake bubble. now. I'm pop, awake. Pop the bubble. I'm awake. <clears throat> <laughs> He's really throwing out that number tonight. Girls, you have got to call him. You have got to do something. <sighs> I'm telling you. You guys see what I have to deal with? Do you, do you see this? They know. It's actually pretty mellow tonight. Uh, Everyone can say. Diane said her father wore a sweater vest. No. Or is that supposed to be a sweater he, see, vest? He, he, no, he. Sweaters are okay, but sweater vests. Now, for the older generation, that was the thing. That's the whole point. The older generation wore those. Yes. We don't wear them now. It's not okay. It doesn't look good on a woman. It doesn't look good on a man. <laughs> What? Lisa's getting annoyed because I'm eating something. It's a sandwich. Actually, it's pretzels. It's probably what you're oh, getting annoyed at. Oh, is he crunching in the mic that I got yelled at for when I was eating a pretzel? They because Thomas was like, you're crunching in the mic. Yeah. Is he getting yelled at? I don't think so. Hello? What the fuck? So, just saying. Yeah, just saying. Hello, Mike. So, all right. That's all. <clears throat> now, let's see how many of these are. There's 10 things no one should ever wear, ever, ever, ever. Anyway, where the hell is it? Oh, it's one of these, like, every page you got to... Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, fuck that is right. That's bullshit. Mom jeans. There we go. Wait. Not even mom looks good in mom jeans. It was... Uh -huh. No. No. Mm -mm. no. I get it. Nope. Actually, this is actually easy to scroll. That was number 10. Oh, they're doing a countdown backwards. -na 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 -na. Okay, can we move on now? Crocs, we already Crocs did. did. No. Very low, low rise jeans. Okay, if your jeans are like showing the top of your fucking crotch, okay, and half your ass is hanging out, no, we don't wear them, okay? You look like a skanky hoe. Don't do it. <laughs> Men, and the other thing is, pull up your damn pants. We don't want to see your ass hanging out, and we don't want to see your damn boxers. Okay? Yeah, that's right. And uh, You walk you know, like an idiot with those things hanging down. Oh, yeah, I'm so tough. Yeah, okay. How fast are you going to run when someone's coming after your ass? You're not, because you're going to fall over. And uh, if you don't have the right body for it, you get the situation known as muffin top. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's... Go to the muffin top. I don't care who you are, what style jeans you have. Here we go, the if, muffin man. If you got a muffin, you either have a high muffin, you got a low muffin, you can have a medium muffin. Doesn't matter, the shit's hanging out, okay? Unless you are like super fit, 
you got shit hanging out. So let me just say, Muffin Top is a bitch. She is going to haunt every woman for the rest of our lives. That's right. You know what would have been awesome if that raincoat showed a muffin top? <laughs> Problem is that, muff, that raincoat showed everything. No, it did have a muffin top. Really? Did you happen to see what was hanging in the front? Yeah, saggy boobs. No, below that. Hitting the Ooh. knees. Really? Well, I'll have to look at it again when I when you free send it to me because I deleted it. Ooh, Mike, that could be like a that could be part of our uh, twenty nine show. Up in top versus camel toe. Oh. And in this go. corner we have muffin top checking in at four hundred and seventy two pounds, and in this corner we have camel toe. Twenty che pounds each. Checking in, yes, at twenty pounds each. And if I might be corrected. I can smell it from over here. <laughs> I guess uh, maybe we should have a smooth groove that goes in there. Mm, yeah. And if you're wearing them low jeans, you better get a big smooth groove right around the waist. Hey, it, 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 come on now. What? I'm going to need like full body armor to walk out. <laughs> <laughs> Suck that shit in. Uh, I, don't, I don't think you have a muffin top. <laughs> Oh, unless, no. you, unless you have one downstairs. I got the in muffin which case, round. I'll be eating it later, Michael. Okay, and yeah, I got what? the muffin ass. Pow, pow. That's like a comic book. Pow, pow. <laughs> Blam. <laughs> Slam. Oh, Batman. Yeah. Look at that ass. Pow, pow. I'm just saying. Just saying. Yeah, righty. So, low rise jeans. We have matchy, matchy ensembles. What? <clears throat> Oh, when we say matchy matchy, we mean your outfit matches someone else's outfit, like your spouse's or your BFFs. <laughs> Excuse me. Matching outfits are cute, huh? infants or toddlers. Anyone older than three tries hey, to dress dress like if, the Doubleman twins. If you're out having fun with your friends, it's all fun. It's all good. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm here. Oh, he always eats. Uh, hold on, I have to. Uh, do, do. Sorry, folks. Hold on a second. Can you fucking talk or something right oh, now? I didn't know you were looking at your phone. Ed's wearing a thong tonight. He told me, hey, wait, why did I read that, Michael? That's bullshit. Excuse me. You weren't supposed to tell anyone. God damn it. Okay. So, so fur <laughs> is another thing. And they said, here's the... It's not popular. Animal rights, blah, blah. But... um. Even if you're not particularly interested in, interested in animal rights, most places aren't cold enough to wear actual fur coats. Exactly. So get a faux fur. It's much cheaper. And, you know, you if you want to wear it because you like the look. I do not approve oh. of skinning an animal for their fur. Yeah. I will never have a fur jacket. I was offered a beautiful one. Yes, it was very beautiful. And I declined. Um, yeah. No. No fur. Wasn't, uh, what's his name? The Price is Right? Um, he was always announced, making that, right? Announcement what? for PETA. The guy who did The Price is Right oh, forever. I don't know. I can't think of his name. I should know. Uh, well, this list is actually very different. Anything that requires batteries. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. Yeah, we're not talking about the camping <laughs> stuff or whatever. What? You can buy a Christmas sweater festooned with a fiber optic light up Christmas tree powered by two batteries. Excuse can me, what if it's a Christmas vibrator? And it Are like, you wearing it out in public? Maybe if it has a jingle. Maybe it has music oh, to it. It has a jingle. <laughs> if it has music to it, why not? I I do it. I'm Your just vibrator saying. is singing to you while you're actually singing "Oh Come All You Faithful." <laughs> yes. Oh come, oh, you know, ye faithful. Hey, wait, 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 wait! You know how I go get the picture with Santa every year? How about you get a picture with Santa? I mean, I'm not shocked. I just didn't know that. <laughs> of course, I do. So now, see if I had a vibrator that would actually have Christmas music. How fitting would that be? It would be Bob Barker. There you go. Thank you. Yes. Wow. Everybody's saying. 
wouldn't it be fitting? Come on. Fitting? Literally. <laughs> L- I was about to say that, actually. You mean fitting? Or do you mean fitting? Maybe you get high. How do you know every woman gets high? What? You're like, oh, maybe women well, don't go, oh, what the hell is that? I don't know. I saw it on the no, internet once. No, you only go, eh, like if you step on something nasty or you touch something nasty or you see something nasty, something good, maybe you don't go, eh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> I was I'm like, oh my God, I think she's a he. You don't know. No, you never know. That's the fucking problem these days. <laughs> Diane said that she wore ma- we wore matching tanks. That's right. And and Lisa, and, Lisa and, said not with Ed, though, right? No. No. I don't um, look good in a yes, tank. Yes, Diane, and our shirts look nice. We look very nice going out with our matching shirts that Diane had gotten for us. They're very nice. Oh, is that that one she had made recently? Yes. Oh. They were tank tops? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't remember they were tank tops. Anyway. They were awesome. <clears throat> and we'll be wearing them again together. The, the general idea is, you know, batteries that, you know, the, so your shirt lights <laughs> up. and What uh, if they're nipple light up shirts? What? If they're what? Nipple light up shirts. All right. I'll make one exception, okay? <laughs> Ladies, if you want to wear nipple light up shirts, I'm okay with that. I'm just saying, you could have big nip sticking out, and they could be, like, blinking. Beep, yeah. Beep, 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 and if beep, you want me to beep, officially beep, sign beep. off on that wardrobe, you make an appointment, <laughs> call 732-560-4398. Be happy to get you the paperwork. Or you Might can come out hours. on May 29th. Or Hill come Tavern. out on May 29th <laughs> to Martinsville Tavern and watch me be abused, embarrassed, used, and oh, please. maybe such a whiner. have a date. By the end of the night. That's right. I would like to give you this red rose. No, I think I'll just go get another margarita. <laughs> oh, can I, Diane? Huh? What? I can wear a light up nipple shirt. All right. I think so. Now, you know what I think? I think for people who have flatulence, wait. Hold on. Don't wear a lighter up shirt. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Okay. Oh, now, uh, if you're sorry? gonna do that, I think there should be a warning. So there should be like a little light on your pants, the back of your pants, and, and it starts to like, not the first <laughs> big noise, but a little thing that goes around to warn people it's coming. <laughs> you do realize that for that to work, the <laughs> wires and the sensor would have to actually be about six inches in your anal cavity. It's okay like, as long as it's you. Oh. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> oh, look, the gas is passing here. I better start spinning. Like one of them little uh, things the kids, you, you blow on them. What do they call those? What? On the stick, the little twirly things. The fan thing? No, nah, they're not. I forget what they're called. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. All right. So leggings as pants. Leggings <laughs> are meant to be worn with a dress or a long shirt to ensure your fanny and hips are covered. Mm. No. Okay. Hold on. Hold it. Now, I have seen, and I'm sure many people have seen on the internet, the picture of a very robust woman wearing nude colored leggings. Um, Mm -hmm. This a particular woman you have in mind? Like um, a famous one, or is no. this just random people? I think it was a Walmart thing. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Um, again, I'm traumatized for life. I probably went blinded by it, too. Um, <clears throat> there are things... Blinded by the this, type... See, this is what people don't understand. There are young children at that level, and they're going to see that. They truly are. They're going to be traumatized for life. I'm traumatized. 
just seeing a picture. Can you imagine any little kids walking around all of a sudden you look in, you're like, whoa. whoa. I'm just saying, people need to watch what you're putting on your fannies and you're letting it show because, yeah, you're scarring a lot of people. Hmm. I wouldn't do that. I mean, well, nobody wants to see my ass in spandex or leggings or anything else, especially nude co colored. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to see it. Hi, Eugene. Hello, Eugene. So, <clears throat> uh, okay, next up right. on the list that we can share. Trucker hats. What the hell? What about trucker hats? If you're a trucker, you can wear trucker hats. Why? Oh, I guess I don't know. Okay, next. What well, it's yeah, it, like it, hats it. the truckers were short, short, short. George. This comes back to what I was saying in the beginning. Oh, jean shorts. George is jean shorts. Okay. No, jean shorts are fine, but go back to what I'm talking about with that very robust woman who was like the her butt was squeezed into something this big, and then everything else was hanging over like that much okay um <clears throat> did she have like support rope holding it up i swear to god i swear to god i have no idea how she even got them on there wow okay shoehorn because between the legs the thighs and everything else going on there i don't know how they got on i mean it it but they were obviously on because everything else was hanging out. Now, if that girl has to go to the bathroom, okay, what is she going to do? How is she going to get those pants on if she was laying down to get them on? Is she going to lay in the freaking mall bathroom? Maybe. I mean, because she was getting something to eat. That means freaking... the process will be starting soon. Yeah. And the new entry of food into the stomach will help push the... Yeah. Bowels to do make not a wear movement. clothes ten sizes too small, please. That's very traumatizing <clears throat> for anyone. Okay, not to mention. Okay, let's just take this right back to what I was saying the other day. Okay, Wednesday or maybe even Monday. The hoo ha and the cleanliness, you know, and the when you clean yourself with soft toilet paper and you end up with the lint trap down there because it's too soft, that's why you need better toilet paper. Anyway, um, if you are wearing clothes that are so tight like that, you know what that's gonna do to a woman's vajiji and the nastiness that's building up there, especially if you're not maintaining that shit? Hello? Like, if they don't, <clears throat> she's going to, like, start burning a freaking hole in her crotch. There are things women should not, you can't do as a woman. The crotch you, of the pants? You end up with nastiness crotch. between your legs. Don't do it. Nastiness between your legs. That's right. That's why you maintain it. You wax it. Sorry. Sounds like a show in Got to get rid of that shit. <laughs> well, nastiness. Yes, and if you use that soft toilet paper, which feels good, I Yes, but you don't need the damn lint trap going on. And men don't use the soft tissue because you don't want no damn nasty dingleberries hanging off with that shit. It's just wrong. Don't, don't do it. it. And then it. now if you're using that kind of toilet paper and then you go and you put on these tight ass shorts and you got that dirty, nasty lint <laughs> that's rolling off with your pee and your everything else. And then you're stuffing your body into those tight ass jeans. No. You that nothing but bad is gonna happen there, and you're gonna Amen. smell like Amen. a damn pond scum. Preach, don't sister. do it. Preach. Don't do it. Preach, sister. Don't Amen. do it. Just don't do it. Lisa says she's kind of robust. Like, yeah, but I'll, spicy. No, robust is one thing. Okay, women are beautiful at any size, especially if you dress for your body type. I'm referring to women who do not dress for their body type. Okay? Everyone knows I have booty. So, no dogs. Um, so, yeah. It's not the size, it's when you have a very robust 
woman squeezing into something that a child should be wearing. That's not okay. Mm. <clears throat> okay. The last thing on that list was Uggs in the summer. No. Uggs never. Uggs never? Uggs never. What do you mean never? Never. Don't you wear Uggs? No. What the hell was them things you were wearing the other night? When? Them bootsies. I don't know. They were... Not your little slippers. You They're were... Uggs. Not Crocs. No, I said Uggs. Oh, Uggs in the summer. Oh, yeah. No, you don't wear Uggs in the summer. No. Okay. I'm still on the Croc thing, but yeah, no. Yeah, that's a Croc of shit is what that is. Exactly. So, yeah, no. I love my Uggs, but you don't wear them in the summer. <clears throat> yeah, nobody should be body shaming. No, that's right. No, it's not about body shaming because every size is beautiful. It's when you make it look horrible by what you wear. That's all I'm saying. You know? Uh oh, that's Michael it. wants to know, Lisa, how big are her robusts? Oh, for God's sakes. I guess that's uh, funny because it's got busts in the word. Yes. What's wrong with busts and breasts? This, this? Not a goddamn thing, I tell you that <laughs> right now, goddammit. Any redneck don't like busts, he freaking communist, goddammit. Really? Yeah, well, all right. I guess I did a little too much of my southern accent. Oh, yeah. What a fine southern accent that was. Okay. Oh, G Eugene says he has a watch party going on for us on the 29th. Sweet. Thank you, Eugene. Awesome. Yes, it's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot going on. Yeah. So, uh, are you coming out, Eugene? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know where you're know. located. Yeah, I don't know where he's located either. Um, yeah, there's a, a live band from 6 to 8. We go on between... Well, it's one eight, guy. 8 and 8.30. Literally. Or, yes, He one calls guy. himself Just Bob. But he's from the group The Neighbors. So anyway... Um, Will you be my neighbor? Oh, shut up. Anyway... So I'm then we go on, fuck. and then, but we're going to be airing all kinds of different things <clears> going on there. We're going to be interacting with everyone who's there. And of course, we're going to be talking about things that we shouldn't. So <laughs> it works out just fine. Yes, and I will be bringing my Mr. Willy Wonka. So if Ed and I will be bringing my Miss Pissy. I put it away. Put uh, it away. Put it away. Wait. Okay. I can't reach because you're hitting me. Give it. No, because you're going to squeeze it again. I am going to squeeze it again. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty thing. Um. Yes. To keep uh, Ed in mind. Uh, yes. You mean his stomach? I'm going to throw up. Oh, nice. We were just talking about toilet paper. So, uh... I think he was just teasing, Lisa, because the word robusts has the word busts in it. Yes. You know, breast assists. Assist. Yes, breast assists. We all got them. Well, men have pecs. Some. Some have. Boobs. <laughs> pecs. Really? What the hell going on around here? Okay, next thing. All right, seven things you should never wear in the workplace. Oh, is that going on the street? I guess, you know. Well, let's see. Dirty rent. Uh, don't wear tight or revealing clothing to work. Oh, shit. Yes. Unless you People want. will not respect your professionalism unless your professionalism is that you are a pro. In which case, dress like a slut, ladies. That's if that's what you want. <laughs> If you're a pro and you want to go to the office looking like a hoe. Only Ed. I'm just saying, that's probably the only time it's acceptable. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Right. No. Okay. Men and women think so differently. <clears throat> of course they do. Men. What well, men think, think with this. Men think certain things are appropriate and other women might not because they'll look at other women and go, Oh, just like if you have breast assists and you wear like skinny straps, 
Oh, look at that hoe. Well, hello. Some people get help, but they have breast assist. assist, assist. <laughs> right? Yeah. Just saying. But if you dress nasty. No, we agree with you, Lisa. Nobody, I don't think anybody's body shaming. He was just playing, having a play on words with yes. robusts. Yes. And yes, Michael, I said it a while ago when you first brought, when you first typed it. <clears throat> yes, no body shaming. We don't body shame on here. No. So, <clears throat> um, anyway, continue. And we love you, Lisa. Don't wear dirty or wrinkled clothes to work. Yeah, you shouldn't even have to be told that. <laughs> don't wear clothing that's too casual. Yeah, I guess like wearing a uh, banana sack thong is probably not the right thing to go. No. Don't wear T-shirts with offensive, offensive messages to work. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Fuck my boss is probably not a good idea. Hold it. What? Hold it. Now, have you seen the pictures where it has, I've seen a construction worker on the phone. Okay. And he's like, you know how guys always rub their stomach and they lift up their shirt? Dude had thong on. And it wasn't a man thong. Okay. So. What is a man thong? Men have thongs too. Uh, really? Yes. But this I was, have this was a lady's one. thong. So I'm just saying. Maybe it was his woman's. No, I'm just saying. You're talking about the banana thing. Yeah. Now, well, that... what somebody wants to wear under their clothes, who gives a shit? Okay, if that's the thing, who gives a shit? You know, we're not seeing it. Makes them feel better. <clears throat> How about it? Hello, Jody. We don't see you on here. Hello, Jody. But there's your name. Lisa typed it. Yes. Chris no, we don't Crystalette? see a lot of people Crystalette? on here. So. What? I'm trying to pronounce her last name. Chris, Chris, Crystalite, it looks like Jody Crystalite Dorchester. Hello. But her, her name didn't pop up. So I, no, I don't, a lot of names don't pop up. I, I don't, don't know why. why. We got to find out. We usually find out at the end of the show, like who actually is on here. Cause like the counter thing is so off. It's whatever. Somebody needs to talk to Facebook, but yeah. Um, I think we need to send Tanya there. To Facebook headquarters and tell tell her that who's that dweeb geek that probably wears sweater vest that runs it? I don't know. You know, doesn't, doesn't uh, Bill Gates wear a sweater vest? Probably. Well, he's a dweeb geek. I mean, he freaking started Microsoft. And I don't care if you're a geek or not. You should not wear a sweater vest unless you are like eighty or ninety right now. Yeah, because that's cute. It's like an old person thing. Don't Cri oh, crystal light. Oh, yeah, there you go. <clears throat> That's perfect. So. So, Lisa said it's pronounced like crystal light. Nice. Crystal light. Jody crystal light. All nice. right. Okay. <clears throat> so, now, Edwin. Um, yeah, don't, make, don't wear stuff that makes it difficult to work. Don't wear club clothes. No. If it looks like you should be going out clubbing. Not if you're going to an office. No. No. no it's no. just stupid. Again, it's I don't know who would even think to do that. Don't wear too much aftershave or perfume to work. I guess that's not clothes, but yeah, what the hell. <clears throat> All right. Would you like to know what not to yeah. wear on a date? Oh, God. Ed? I would like to know that. Ed? What? Just look in the mirror. Oh, dude. That was just rough right there. <laughs> Side. <clears throat> uh oh, so who's a who's a well, Jody's uh, got a nice picture of a what is that? A that's a charger, right? Dodge Charger, purple. That's sweet, right there. Okay, so Edwin, date attire. Do not wear thigh boots. Now these are. Dates that are people are new to each other. Okay. This is not your been married ten years or dating two years and you're having a date night. That's you pretty much do whatever you want. Uh, no, no. I do, do, do. Okay. It depends. What? It depends on where you're going, what you're going to wear. 
Okay, if you're going to a classy restaurant, don't be putting on thigh highs. Okay. Don't, don't, don't. Okay. Yeah, but if you're going to wear, what are like... You can wear heels. You can make it sexy. No, I understand but... that, but they're saying... When you're getting dressed for a date. If you're going to go out, get something like at a restaurant and you're going to, you know, go clubbing or like whatever afterwards, fine. This is like two people who maybe haven't even met before. Don't wear thigh highs. Here's the point, huh? Yeah, don't wear thigh highs. Wait, here's the point is that <clears throat> these sexy stompers may look good when you go out dancing with your girlfriends, but unfortunately on a date, they give off a hooker vibe. Yes, and I agree with that. Yes. I may oh, like that. Damn, I was gonna wear that. Diane, I was gonna wear hooker boots this weekend to go do the ghost hunting. Damn yes, it. but you've known Diane a long time, so you can wear hooker boots if you want. Damn. Just ruined my whole outfit. Oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> Plum crazy purple charger. Okay. So are you good? Continue, please. Yes. Uh, two clothing that's either too tight or too loose. I agree. Yeah, if it's too loose, you do appear sloppy and everything. And if it's too you tight. Don't. Now, hold on. <laughs> she It sends a message like, no, hold she on. wants me. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, I know a lot of bigger women like to wear big loose clothes i can tell you as a woman looking at another woman who is fuller when you wear form-fitting clothes and i'm not saying skin tight but i'm saying form-fitting that actually looks really pretty it's sexy and you're showing your curves like there's nothing to be ashamed of no, with that i mean right I, they're not talking about they that. look they're damn good about, you know about if it's like but if, i'm just if, saying a lot of women who like you were saying, if you have yes. to lay down to pull those jeans on, like this picture shows, exactly. then you shouldn't be doing that. Exactly. And but by the other stretch. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hold on. But that's what I'm saying. Women who, like, you know, feel uncomfortable with the body, they have a tendency to wear really loose clothing. Don't do it. I mean, even though you're going to feel uncomfortable wearing something a little more form-fitting, it looks good. You look well put together. Mm -hmm. I mean, boom. You got it going on. So stop wearing tents. You shouldn't. And that's what they're talking about with the loose. They're talking about yes. wearing something that's like eight sizes too big that you look like you could literally put up. I'm not even going to say what that looks like. Yeah, I don't. I'm not, I'm not going there. Brand icons. What about it? Oh, like don't wear things that have their name on it, like the company's name, the designer's name. Oh, well, if you have a purse or something, it's going to be on there. If you have a watch, it's going to be on there. They're talking about clothing. Like yeah. Oh, yeah. Wearing no. a hoodie with it's got, you know, no. whatever. Why would you wear a hoodie on it? I don't know. This chick here is wearing a hoodie and pointing at her boobs, it looks like. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. Just me. Maybe that's her going out gear. I don't know. Well, that could be. The loose fitting clothing. You know, you're right. I okay, mean, next thing. Come on. Can we move along here? <clears throat> I was answering Lisa. Slogans. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Fucking stupid t-shirts with slogans on them on, on like a first date. Yeah, no. Okay, carry on. <sighs> that's funny. Carry on. Dirty attire. Yeah, don't wear yeah. tires that are dirty. No. Okay, hold on. You know I got something to say about this. Did that go over your head when I said don't wear tires that are dirty? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Probably wasn't worth repeating. Anyway, um, if you don't shower and you wear dirty clothes to go on a date, you should not be allowed to date. Mm -hmm. Unless you were dating someone or going to date someone who is also Slob. like that yes skank you personal hygiene is something people take very seriously and uh yeah nobody wants to smell you and they don't want to see if you're wearing white you know if you have like dirty cuffs 
Mm. Things get stained. Don't wear it because it looks dirty. Collar marks, pit marks. Gotta look out for that stuff. Don't do it. Oh, wait. My buddy Scott is calling in, who always sends me the good stuff. Hold on. Uh-oh. Hello, Scott. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> uh, what? I got it. Hold on. Hold on. I got a little gift for you, okay? Oh, God. Is that bad? Ed is here. We're doing the show. <clears throat> okay, hold on one second, okay? I want you to listen to this, all right? Oh, God. Uh-huh. I sent that to her months ago. Did you hear that? Yeah. Yes. That's her favorite song. Yeah. I told her I was going to call. Yes, you did. Tell Ed I give him compliments for knowing who Buddy Rich is. That's right. The Beastie Boys. Like music. That's right. Great drummer. Okay. That's right. Because oh. you know that you're afraid of worms? Hey, well, you just need that. to shut your pie hole, okay? <laughs> shut your shit down. You know, I was just going to bring up, okay, what, in the 80s, when you and I used to sit there and listen to Quiet Riot? Yes. <laughs> hey, there was good music back then. I still listen to that stuff. I love it. Are you kidding me? I mean, look at today's music. It's crap. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It is crap. I mean, if you look at... The sad thing about the music scene today is if you watch concerts, everybody's got their cell phone out. Right. Okay, there's no need for that. Pull your lighter out. <laughs> Might burn some hair. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what happens in concerts when, you know, people are drinking and... That's right. Or smoking pot. <laughs> <laughs> so... So listen, what's that? No, go ahead. <clears throat> no, listen, I gotta go. I just wanted to call you real quick. Okay, well, thank you. Okay, and enjoy your show. Thank you. Enjoy your power, whatever you're doing tomorrow. My uh, power unity. Yes. Um, what do you call it? Uh, what was I going to say? Brain fart. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> so I'll check your show later because uh, I can't watch it live. Okay. Since I don't have Facebook. Okay. Well, sounds good. Okay. All right, guys. Enjoy your show. All right. Thanks for calling. <clears throat> okay. Bye bye. 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 So that is Scott. He's the one who sends um, a lot of the pictures that I put up uh, and gives me topics and stuff like that. I've known him since I was very young. So, yes, that's my buddy Scott. Thank you, Scott, for calling in. Anyway. All right, other no's on dates. All black. What about all black? It's fashionable and slimming. Uh, don't wear it like date after date after date. Right. I, it gets I, depressing. Yes. This one looks like she's goth. And Okay, how many <clears throat> women out there can pull off black lipstick? I want to know. I know some women can. I have tried different reds. I've tried <clears throat> burgundies. I've tried browns. There's like only a few that I can wear. And I like the darker colors, but I look like a shit. So I don't wear them. So I want to know who can actually do it because I'm kind of jealous. I would like to be able to wear them. Just saying. Okay. Let's see. Distracting prints. Oh, like wearing a shirt with penises all over it? That wouldn't be good? Uh, not if you're <laughs> dating a homosexual man, because he will definitely focus on... Toy. Oh. Sound like, like a bird was crying. Yeah. Uh, perfume again, blah, blah. Too tight skirts. Don't wear those. Uh-huh. You'll be... Paying attention to shifting your skirt around more than paying attention to your date. Uh huh. Shoes you can't walk in. Mm hmm. Okay. Anything else? Uh, we have to wrap it really up. Really high heels, noisy jewelry. Oh my oh, god. Oh, I can't stand noisy yeah. jewelry. Extremely gaudy jewelry. No, 
there's like some really nice chunky jewelry that you can wear but yeah but this thing has like five different colored jewels so and it's like, yes that's very pretty all right i think their point is it's like no it's the clink 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 like when you put your arms down of like bangles no a woman shouldn't wear on a date is no noisy jewelry noisy jewelry clink 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 every time you move around they're going up and down your arm going ching 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 ching, ching. yeah I know exactly what they're talking about. You obviously don't have a no, clue. No, I just read the whole thing, and you are correct. Yes. Wearing jewelry that makes sounds would be very distracting. Okay. Sunglasses. Especially at a movie. Sloppy undies. Sloppy undies. Like, Why you would get... you have sloppy undies on? And if you get to that point, I don't think anyone cares. Um, excuse me. Knicker lady. No. She is the expert on knickers. No, if you're going out and you think there's a chance that you're going to be hooking up with someone, 99% of women are not going to wear nasty drawers. Unless you're nasty. Just yeah, saying. Yeah, it's, I don't know. I, um, no, I'm just I saying. agree with it, but. Just saying. Like, th th this is, this is a fact. If you're really going to hook up on a first date, then, I don't know. I don't yeah, think the yeah. guy really cares. I'm just saying. Because he knows it, those nasty underwear's no, coming off. No, because, yeah, and then you got nasty hole. Okay. So, let me just throw that out there. What? Hmm. Hold on. Oh, you're way behind. Yeah. Where am I behind? In? i got to put my hide All wear on. All kinds of com conversations going out. Yes, and we got to wrap it up soon. I think uh, Lisa bailed on us. Could be. All right. Yoga pants. Wow. On a date? Really? Do you be you? All right. That's just like be yourself okay. kind of thing. Okay. Who's that down there? Terry just rejoined, oh. I guess. Oh. Hey, Terry. Okay. So, well, we have to wrap it up there, sir. Okay. All right. So. Oh, by the way, as you know, I played golf today. Well, you're saying the, uh... Well, no, I gotta wait for you. And 21, 31, 34. Okay, come on. Let's go. 42. Okay, come on. Let's come on, come on, come on. Yep. The, 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 nobody wants to hear the shit. Oh, no, I think they want to hear the total score, because it was absolutely pathetic. 20, 32. Well, what's taking so long? You should have this shit done. 42, 57. Okay, let's 57. go. Come on. 57. That Hello. was a total of, uh, oh, I shot a 121. That's great. I was kind of figuring I would have been at 120. That's, That's pretty pathetic for fabulous. me. Fabulous. Okay. Anyway, I'm sorry, folks, but we do have to go. Um, I sucked. Let me just throw it out there again about May 29th, Martinsville Tavern. Um, six to eight, you're going to have uh, live acoustic uh, from eight ish on you're gonna have ed and i uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun we're gonna be doing a lot of interacting we're gonna be live so uh yeah you definitely want to come out join us and uh you know have fun so enjoy your weekend i will be at para unity in woodbridge this weekend can't wait with diane my bff bff that's right and have a great time and uh hi eddie I hope and that... goodbye because we are yeah. actually yes about to head out we're but actually I... signing off yes, yes he just I... liked the video i hope that uh everyone uh you know has a great weekend and we will see you on monday and we'll have lots of pictures up well i will on my kegs page and i'm sure i'll put some over here on uh this page so until monday Enjoy it. Tomorrow's supposed to be gorgeous in the 80s. So live it up. All right. Be safe. And I will see you Monday night, 830. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm an ass.